What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a video for you on the Epic Games launcher. So of course if you have a computer and you have some of your games on a disc you don't want them on, or you want to copy the game files from a friend's PC, it may be a bit confusing with how to move it from one disc drive to another. If you want to do it for extra performance or just to skip the download because a friend of yours already has the files, you reinstalled Windows or anything along those lines, how exactly do you get existing game files back into the Epic Games launcher so that you can play the games as per normal? Well, today I'm going to show you how you can move game files from one folder to another through any of those means from a friend's PC or just moving the game from one hard disk to another. So basically, to explain how I've got it currently set up, inside of D Drive Fortnite 1, I have the folder Fortnite and inside of it I have all of the game files which total to about 72 gigs. Now obviously re-downloading everything here would take a really long time and if you're using a capped internet connection it could completely eat all of your data. So I already have the game installed over here and I want to move it from my D drive onto say an SSD but of course copying the files across would take too long to demonstrate in this video. So instead I'll just be renaming the folder from Fortnite to something else and saying that I moved it from one disk to another because it is technically the same thing. So I have the game files over here and I have the game installed on the Epic Games launcher. Of course, if you don't have the game already installed, you can go ahead and skip this step. However, if you have it installed already, what you need to do is go ahead and find where your game files are. For me, it's D Drive, Fortnite 1, Fortnite. For a lot of people who just install it to the default place, it'll usually be C Program Files 86, if they're on a 64-bit PC, Epic Games, and inside of that folder, that will be where their games are. But I chose to install it to this drive over here. So just navigate to where your game files are. As such, of course the game doesn't have to be Fortnite, it could be literally anything on the Epic Games launcher, but I'm just demonstrating it with this. What I'm going to do is rename the folder Fortnite to something else. So in this step over here, you'd move it from a friend's PC onto your local PC, or you'll move it from one disk to another. Once you've made sure that the file name is not the same, what we're going to do is head into the Epic Games launcher, we're going to hit the three dots next to the game we want to move from one disk to another, and we're going to click Uninstall, Uninstall. Now it'll disappear within a few seconds, and if you had a desktop icon, that'll also disappear. Having a look inside of our Fortnite 1 folder, we have the folder we renamed with all of the game files left intact inside of it. What you do right about now is you choose where you want to install the game to. So if you move the game files to where you want to put them, just move them out temporarily or rename the folder to something else. What I'm going to do is I'm going to install it to D Drive Fortnite, which is a folder that currently doesn't exist. So what I'm going to do is look inside the Epic Games launcher, find the game I want to move to another disk, click on it so that I can choose to install it and choose a place to put it. So what I'm going to do is put it inside of D Drive Fortnite. So currently this file doesn't exist, as you can see. What I'm going to do is hit install and it will start downloading the game. I'm going to click on the downloads tab and pause the download. If I try and open up D Drive Fortnite, you can see the folder now opens and inside of it we have the files that are currently downloading. So from here, what we're going to do is look back into the Epic Games launcher and we're going to hit the little cancel button next to the download. As soon as we click off of the downloads window, you can see that it says Fortnite resume. As long as you have this little resume icon, then that's great, then we can continue with moving the files in. If you have it saying install, just redo the previous steps and make sure you have the resume text right underneath the game's text. From here, what we're going to do is hit the X in the very top right, and of course that doesn't close the launcher entirely. If we have a look inside of the Windows task tray, we can see the little Epic Games logo over here, and if we right click on it, we can choose a bunch of options but we're not going to tell it to exit. We need it to stay at least a little bit open. From here, we're going to go to where it's installing to. So in my case, it's D Drive Fortnite Fortnite. And what I'm going to do is delete this folder. So D Drive Fortnite, and there's nothing inside of it. I'll then head across to where we copied the game files from. I'm going to change the name from Fortnite 2 back to Fortnite, and we're going to move it across to the new folder. So D Drive Fortnite Fortnite, and inside of it, we have all of the game files, that we had before, 72 gigabytes of them. From here, you can close and delete the temporary place we put the game and reopen the Epic Games launcher. You'll see it loading for a little bit, and then as soon as we get to the library screen, as such, you'll see that we still have the resume icon. All we need to do is simply click the game's name, look across to the downloads page, 
and we can see that it's currently verifying the game files that are already here. As you can see, download is zero bytes per second, and we're currently reading the disk as fast as it can go. Now, of course, because I moved this from one hard disk to another, this is gonna be a little bit slower than putting it on, say, an SSD. So, of course, this process may take a couple of minutes, but you just need to wait for this verification process to finish. Of course, if the game files you copied across are outdated or you're missing a couple of files, it'll detect them over here and then download either the update or the missing files entirely. So I'll simply pause the video here and wait for this verification process to finish. And there we have it. It says update complete. Fortnite is now available to play. So of course this works for any game on the Epic Games launcher. Once you've followed through with those slightly confusing steps, then you can click on the game and it will start up as per usual with nothing wrong. Of course, updates and the rest will still be done normally. You've now successfully moved the game from one hard disk to another, to an SSD, or even to a completely separate computer. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. Mine has been Technova here for Troubleshoot. I hope this video helped you, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.